Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back playing some Rust console today, and I'm excited for today, man. I'm excited. Today, I'm playing with my man Mikmok, going by the alias of Jazzy Giraffe, and we're gonna build a really cool base today. I can't wait. I actually can't wait. We're building on a mushroom rock. <laughs> so, first order of business is actually finding a mushroom rock to build on. Yeah, I've got some BPs on this server, so it's going to definitely help the process. Oh man, I've already got too much. Gotta find a rock. If I were a mushroom rock, where would I be on this server? Come on, man. saw me? Oh, they definitely saw me. I don't want to fight, man. How dumb is that fluoro bow? <laughs> it's like a beacon. Oh, he actually wants to fight. Why do you want to fight me, dude? What is he doing, man? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> okay, I think we're heading to large fishing village, man. That is crazy. I cannot believe he just engaged in a fight with me. Alright, I think we're going to get to fishing village. And I've got high call now, so I could just... I could just die. And, like, leave my body there, come back and loot it. It went to decay for, like, an hour because of the high quo. I really like this kind of area though, so hopefully there's a mushy rock around here somewhere. It'd be perfect. This weekly wipe server had started as well as I could have hoped for. As you would have heard, the plan for this wipe was to build an amazing rock base on the rare mushroom or anvil rock formation. So instead of running around the map with a full invent of resources, I decided to make my way to the safe zone of Fishing Village to F1 kill and safely keep loot on my body until I had a base established. Fresh wipe in Australia starts at 4am, so Mikmok wouldn't be on for another hour or so, so I set off on my own to find the glorious mushroom rock so that I could claim it for our main base. Okay man, we gotta find a rock ASAP. Heaps of debts. <laughs> What are you doing, bro? Uh, come on, man. Wait, do I take that over? So we get a respawn point. Might not be a bad idea. Thank <laughs> you. 
the Mi'kmaq said he'd be on any time between 4 and 5. It's really early, like here in Australia. What is going on, man? Man, this area is going to be so busy. Okay, I gotta stop getting distracted. I gotta try and find a, a rock so that I don't lose all that stuff at Fishing Village. Ugh. I think we need to start heading back down this direction, check this area out. Imagine if this server didn't have a rock base. <laughs> a rock base. Oh my god. Yeah, going back the other way. I think I need to spawn at Fishing Village first. mushy rock anywhere man. I was starting to get a bit concerned. I'd covered at least half of the map since I spawned in and was yet to see a mushroom rock formation. I really had my heart set on building this awesome base so I stayed persistent and headed southeast to this island that I hadn't yet investigated. I swear to god if there's not a mushroom rock on this island I'm not gonna be very happy. And after almost losing hope I finally found it. Yes, dude. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Ah, we found it, man. It's, it's actually in a decent spot, too. Like, scrap might be a little bit tricky, but... Alright, let's get a little starter down. place is going to be so good. So many nodes. Start, man. <laughs> Our fastest start. Um, um, are you still on this island? Yeah, I'm um, just outside the base. Welcome to my candy shop. <laughs> it's gonna be such a good um, island. There's one other base close by, but haven't seen much really. Like no other bases really, other than that. So what we really need is a high external gate. Then we can see if this base is actually gonna work. Sick. Let's uh, let's barrels. A little stone meme. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's who you mean. Could so, be a big ass base, but. <laughs> yeah. Is, um, there are many um, power lines or anything for. Nah. Barrels? See, scrap's gonna be a little, little bit tricky. I think what we might need to do is just get some boats and like do some boat farming. Need me to be a little fishing scrap boy. <laughs> um, well, I don't have it. Yeah, do oh, we should go. Getting a team. Give me a Yeah. Team. Give me a... Man, your character looks fucking cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so ugly, yeah. <laughs> this, I love this island, man. It's it's, it's peaceful, nice, eh? a lot of notes. It's kind of yeah. exactly where I would have wanted the, the mushroom <laughs> rock to be. It's a little picky outside. Okay. After lots of searching, we'd finally found the mushy rock, and it was in the perfect location too, with what would be an epic view over oil rig. 
Given there were no other monuments close by, we'd planned to use the ocean for gathering scrap. So I went past Fishing Village to get some gear and we headed out for our first scrap run. But before doing that, we needed some coffee. Alright, um, might go for a little boat run. Let's do it. You can come this way if you want, I'll drop you off at the boat. Yeah, good. I was gonna ask. <laughs> So I can head up, head up this way, up east, and then recycle a harbor on the way back. Oh, I was like that time we're like they chain. To my first little dive. Yeah. Kind of fine one. Like some of these. You reckon we'll be able to? I reckon we. Hey, get out of my boat, you dog. <laughs> yeah, this is us here, isn't it? How much was there? How much scrap? Like 300? Oh, yeah. You? I only picked up a little bit, like so. I had 100 on me, so there's 140 in the base. The foundation of this mushroom base required a high external gate, so that would be our focus of attention for the next short while. And after not too long, we'd have enough for the gate so that we could begin our base expansion. I might as well just tech tree it because I need to go through wood wall to get to gate anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're like 25, 30 away from getting the gate. I might just go out and get that real quick because um, that way we can start expanding the base. Let's go. Uh, are, you, are you coming back? Or you I'm coming back now, yeah. I've got enough scrap for the gate. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so keen to see how this works. I'm really, oh, really looking forward to this. This is like, this is how Rush should be played. I think it's worked, but it's a bit, a little bit shit. Oh, uh, as long as it's worked. Yeah, just resources now. On it. Yep, yeah, boy. Oh, no. Is that a... You can put the, the gate, like, really close to your front door. But because yeah. of the terrain, it wouldn't let me place it in a certain position, so it's slightly off-center, which is fine, except for now it means I can't place the doorway. And, and the, like, the palm trees coming out of it looks like a little island hut. <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, oh, when yeah. it's open, it would just like... So normally you'd have like a little a door here, and then you can use these as little peaks so you can see who's either side of your gate, but... Uh, won't be able to have a door there, it's the only thing. Uh, I just keep thinking every time I open this door there's going to be someone standing there. In the air. <laughs> <lock. laughs> it's terrifying. Love that little like kill box. Well, in that case, <laughs> sorry. Oh man, yeah. I'm like a beacon with this candle hat though. Yeah, I could just rock it. Oh shit, there's a. There's a care package just over there, dropping. Uh, where at? Like, if you look up 300, it might be called in. It's called in. Because that's where I heard the Tommy shooting before. Hey, how you get cold and it goes dark at, <laughs> in the desert. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Just can't see shit because it's cold. 
Dude, that base doesn't know about okay. it, I don't think. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, there's the, two the guys on the beach. They're running up. Can you hold them up for a second? I'm just going to loot your gun. I'm coming across. Still swimming. Uh, I'll be able to just distract one. Surely. I reckon they see me, so I... I can't see shit because it's so dark, dude. Oh, it's so dark, I'm dead. Ugh. Demon watch. Ugh, god damn. I reckon I might have been able to get him if I could see anything. <laughs> it was so fucking dark. That was a tough pill to swallow, but we had bigger fish to fry. And after some more farming, we were getting close to putting down the coolest part of this base design. Getting pushed by a furnace. Is that you getting pushed by a furnace? Yeah, because it's so f hot in the base. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest enemy I have. <laughs> Finally, the elevator. Chris. One, two, three, four, five, six elevators on the craft. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it works. <laughs> okay, the moment of truth. So, I don't know if this is going to work, but press that button. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes, dude. And I can't touch the good good. We finally had our elevator system down. The next stage was to secure the mushroom rock by building our main base and moving all the loot to our safe haven in the sky. We were stoked with how this was turning out and keen to get the base finished before we started running oil rig and looking for some PvP. Hey, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Uh, this is slightly, slightly annoying. Even. We'll do this. Then we'll go actually we'll go up this way. It's gonna be jump up. Bit of like a ring of doors leading into the loo room here. And then we'll have like drop down. This can be like tier three or something. And we'll have main loot here and here. Ah, oh, that's actually so good. This base is gonna be so f cool, man. Oh my god. Oh, Sharky boys. Well, I dare say that we've got some upgrading to do if we want to survive the night. Here. The 
viewing uh, window <laughs> ra rather like it's just a hole just a hole in the wall because nothing will place there it'd be like a prisoner just looking out of the cell trapped in this goddamn labyrinth of ash yes i fixed it <laughs> this is good this is really good let's have a look All right, we got a button at the top now too. Well done, man. This is sick. It's pretty cool, <laughs> eh? Uh, I want to see what it looks like. I'm gonna spawn uh, outside. It looks, it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, as you get close, it looks sick. Like as the um, the lantern lights up. Up there, I use my binox. All right, we're all sealed in. So at least people can jump in. You can still get shot from the side, but I don't know if I like that little slit anymore. It's kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how much upkeep do we have down here? Oh yeah, we get a bit. 13 hours. That's right, I'll have a break and then I'll what? jump back on and do a bit of a farm. I'll jump off now too, I reckon. Yeah. I might be back on, like, um, I'll just get dinner started. Yeah, just let me know what your plans are, but no stress, my man. Alright, uh, man, I'm gonna log upstairs. a good spot. Probably not there. <laughs> Wait. We took a break for a bit, and when I returned, wanted to check out the oil rig. Unfortunately, we didn't have a red card, but could still score some decent comps and maybe some PvP, so I headed over anyway. For the stone, I guess. Man, talk about a jump scare. I wanted to make this base as cool as possible. So when I returned from rig, I started setting up an automated rig alarm system that would alert us whenever the heavy scientists were being called in at the rig. Meanwhile, Mikmok had loaded back in, and after he'd uh, collected a few pumpkins, we decided to head out again to try and find some PvP at Rig. Great. And pumpkin Bukaki. Pumpkin Bukaki. Jesus. <laughs> and where's the camera? Oh, okay.
to like hold here. And then when they peek this, oh, there's a boat. Killed you, didn't I? You did. <laughs> on how many there are? To the loop. I killed one with a frag grenade. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was a disaster. And after heading back out to try and grub these guys and salvage some loot, we were killed again by another grub and decided it was time to call it for day one. It had been a long day, and we were happy with our progress in getting the elevator base down and almost finishing the main base. As it turned out, Mi'kmaq would only be able to play very briefly for the rest of this wipe, so I set out as a solo once again, with a plan to fortify the Mushroom Rock and hold my own against the groups that were running Oil Rig. We can go check out Rig. So many goddamn pumpkins, man. We must be decaying downstairs, because TC's got some loot in it up here. Oh, we just need low grade. That's that should be the plan for today. I think is to get um, oil refinery. Kind of want to compound the bottom, get some large furnaces going. Yeah, we're still good. Property gang. Holy. Ah, oh, dude, we got raided. Bro, we got raided. No way. There was like nothing in this base. Oh, man. I just want an oil refinery. <laughs> like the only reason I'm here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> no way! No way! What are the odds? Alright, let's get out of it. Yeah, they're fiery. I was just, because I was looking at it, I was like, well, I go buy one, and I saw how much scrap we had, and I'm like, oh, that was pretty, pretty tight. Man, those pumpkins, economy started. Pumpkin based economy. <laughs> After that, we plan to do a big boat farm on the way to Outpost to recycle and buy a jackhammer. Thought there would have been a big ass space here. When we arrived at Outpost and realized we forgot to farm on the way there, we decided to check out this area and look for some action. You're the fastest man alive. Uh, how, are you, <laughs> how are you already in there and I'm still on top of Oh wait, we were supposed to farm on the way. What are we doing here? <laughs> we don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, what we're doing, we're sussing the trip. We know it's safe now. So. It is, it is safe. Oh my god. Let's see if we can scrounge up enough for 150. By hitting these barrels. I mean, do we just check out dome or something while we're here? Yeah, but am I gonna have enough grab? Here you go, take this. We got a dude coming towards us from 30. Destroyed him. <laughs> yes. It was pumpy. Pumpy slugs. Oh. Oh. Nice. That's terrifying. Was it Eoka? That is. 
Where did he even come from? Uh, the darkness. <laughs> the darkness. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy that I just killed, that OCE Drifty. Now he's collecting eggs. <laughs> Back to the farm. Yeah. There's eggs up here. I assume that's from me. Yeah. Nope. Uh, you dead. I got him. Me. Oh, Jesus. He fell? He had a pumpy. Yeah, this has been looted. And the guy that I just killed fell into the abyss. Yeah, wait, he fell into the middle or down? Mm, I think he fell off. He slid off the side out towards oh, like... I'll get it. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Uh, where was that he... from? So I just I went out sort of 110 from dome. How close to dome was he? He was just to the right of it. I think it was the guy I jumped off. Me, dude. I got him so low, but he absolutely laser beamed my face. At least we didn't have any comps on us. <laughs> yeah. Shall we just take some comps? Yeah, seems I like, think it seems like, like a fairly safe run. Whatever it is. Yeah, I'm gonna. Do you wanna do half of this? Yeah.
that's swimming out of there. Course, as someone pulls up, dude. God damn. God damn. How's the timing, man? It's the timing. Solo Rust is rough, man, but I wasn't counting myself out just yet. After gaining some intel from my computer station, I grabbed a SAR kit and headed back out to try and make a play. I can make a SAR, try and go back. Surely if he's calling in heavies, he's gonna do it from that, like, from the crane. You'll be trapped like a rat. Like a little rat. Yeah, right, so that was a coordinated attack. I see. Going to the crane. It's gonna be hard without a four times, but. God, my back and boat. <laughs> Grip. You know, getting my shit, bros. Good luck searching. Yo, what? <laughs> I took a break. Ah, wooden door, eh, Mick Mick? It might have been a little toxic taking over this guy's base, but anything goes when you're solo, and he initiated the fight in the first place, so I didn't feel too bad about it. Among his loot, there was also a red card, so I finally headed out to the rig to call in the heavies.
Oh, we'll leave. Okay, I gotta go, man. We gotta go. Ooh. AK. Hell yeah, dude. Finally, I had caught a break on this solo run and scored an AK from the lock crate. That was a tough loss, but sometimes numbers just win out. This was a really fun wipe, and goes to show that sometimes just chilling out and building an awesome base is all you need to enjoy yourself playing Rust. And in terms of bases, this is seriously one of the coolest bases I've made so far, and we had a great time living in it. Thank you all for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you real soon for another Rust console adventure.